Um, okay, and um, now um, I'm going to leave you off with um, uh, one uh, statement. Uh, before I do, there is Amplogen. Um, it's uh, been around for a couple of decades. It's been going from one f big pharma company to another, and there weren't enough ill enough uh, enough of us uh, for them to invest in and so one was dropping in on the other so they had to keep moving more test trials more test tr trials um, well I, I'm not one for interferon with for hep C and Pegasus and I wouldn't take it um, I would take Amplogen when it, when it came out I belong to some Yahoo groups um, and um, people who are in the trials, you can get it on a cost recovery basis uh, for some time now, and it's really expensive. It used to be twice as much, um, um, over 80 grand. I think it's about 40 now. And, and plus, you have to pay for the doctor and the nurse to give you two infusions a week. And if you had it for a long time, then you're looking at a year of infusions. And some of the reports, um, everybody's had some level of improvement. Um, um, some um, are totally recovered, um, some partially. Um, they say one of the first things to go away is the dementia and cognitive uh, uh, problems. A lot of them are really gleeful to have their life back. Uh, some can go back to work or some it's just they're not existing, uh, surviving um, every day. Um, they, it's like having some life. It's, it's some, there's some are more affected. Some can, some, um, um, I don't know too many that can keep working. Um, I do with fibro. Um, um, and maybe maybe part time. Uh, those that usually get it severe, usually they, they have to they have to stop working. Uh, for me, I just I kept trying for another three or four years and. Which is a really big mistake. It, uh, I didn't know what I'd be able, what I, if I could keep living without working. Um, so um, Amplogen is, um, they're still holding it up. Uh, the FDA and Health Canada, and uh, the Dr. Cheney uses it, and uh, in the states, um, I don't know if they're having trials here. If you can get into a drug trial. Uh, that's your choice. We research it first. Uh, a lot of people want to stick with um, alternatives. Um, if um, if, you're, if you're, your ME and CFS is lighter, um, I would say maybe that would be the best thing for you. If you're really severe and you're bed confined um, most of the time, um, Amplogen um, may be uh, a choice for you. Um, but remember, it is a drug and uh, you do get worse um, uh, before you uh, start feeling better. Um, they also are, um, made it for um, hep C, HIV, and oddly enough, cancer. Um, so for me, having hep C as well, it, um, it would be getting um, both at the same time. Now, I, I haven't uh, read, in, um, read anything in results regarding um, um, hep C. Um, I have for HIV um, a bit, and but I have I've been hanging around more for the MECFS groups, obviously, um, uh, for those that are in the trials. Um, so um, um, I and I, I, this has been for for years. So um, seeing um, what what the results are, um, and because I've been damaged so much by drugs, um, I, I want to see what's going on and. Um, with um, other people that are willing to or get to, willing to be and, and are the guinea, guinea pigs. Now, uh, one of the um, um, uh, the paragraphs of the quote that, that I wanted to leave you with um, is, um, and this is from um, some of the leading experts in the uh, MECFS field, and this about sums it up for those of us living with severe. ME, CFS, and I'm trying to get this across to people, um, is uh, like all illnesses, the severity uh, varies from patient to patient. Um, Dr. Paul Cheney uh, stated uh, he had evaluated over uh, 2,500 uh, ME, CFS cases, and it can be a nightmare of increasing disability with both physical and cognitive uh, components. 
Severe cases have uh, both an MS-like and AIDS-like uh, clinical appearance. Uh, Dr. Dan Peterson um, found that uh, MEF, um, ME uh, CFS uh, patients experience greater functional severity than uh, studied patients with heart disease, virtually all types of cancer and other chronic illnesses. 20 years after the epi epidemic, uh, Dr. Peterson said he has never had a patient that has recovered from ME CFS. An unrelated um, study compared the quality of life of people um, with various illnesses, including patients undergoing chemotherapy, hemodialysis, as well as those with HIV until the late ter terminal stage, um, liver transplants, coronary ar artery disease, and other ailments, and again found ME CFS patients have the lowest quality of life. Um, Dr. Leonard uh, Jason stated in a radio interview that MECFS is actually more debilitating than just about any other medical problem in the world. Um, I've lost uh, a lot of friends to, um, to AIDS, um, and that's when I, just before I got MECFS, and while I had it, and before they came out with the drugs to um, um, help them live longer. They would probably still be living today. I lost about 17, I think 17 friends. Some, some of them were very close friends. And um, they did, their, their quality of life was better until they got hit at, at the end. And even for some of them then, it, um, um, it wasn't a long drawn out uh, process. For, for some it was. Um, having to be in a hospice and um, are really going downhill for for six months or a year or, 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 or on and off now, more so with the drugs. Um, and um, some of my friends um, did, did quite well and were still uh, running around working, doing things and all over the place and, you know, um, and um, they'd, get, they'd get the pneumonia that uh, hits them and they'd, they'd be gone in a couple of days. Um, some it would take, um, um, their, their T cell count would finally get down low enough that um, um, uh, then uh, that they, were, they were starting to go. Um, so I've seen that and, and I can say that, that um, um, that statement um, has, there's definitely truth, uh, truth to it.